Hi, it's your favorite agent, Camille Hicks of C. Hicks Insurance Agency. Um, at any point during this video, feel free to reach out to me at my office, 281-549-5264, or through my website or email, chicksinsurance.com. So today I'm here to address one of my comments, question cards from my last seminar. The question is, do you buy whole life or term? What's best? So here's my answer to that. And this is just my opinion on it based off of my own personal experience and my experience as an insurance agent. Let's first understand the difference um, between term and permanent. So the question asks about term or whole life. Whole life is a type of permanent policy. So you can either choose a term policy or a permanent policy. I like to explain the difference to my clients like this. There's renting and owning. So while home ownership is great, it's not always best for you or your family or your budget at a certain time based on your situation. And it's the same exact thing with term and permanent insurance. I'm not a big fan of people who advise you or say, only purchase term. Permanent is bad. It's a waste of money. Or only purchase permanent. Term is bad. So it really is based off of your situation, and you should not let anybody tell you differently. You need to figure out what your situation is, understand the difference between the two, which I will briefly go over right now, and then pick something that's best for you based on what makes sense to you and your family. So the differences or the main advantages of term versus a permanent policy is with term insurance, um, the premiums are a lot less. That's the first thing. It is a lot less expensive to do a term policy. Uh, well, I say a lot less expensive. It really depends on your age and your health and the amount. So you can get a term policy depending on your age. It can start at $10, $12 a month. So permanent policies, the, the premiums are higher. So the advantage of term is a lower premium. Also, term insurance uh, really helps when you have large expenses and things in your life like mortgages, college tuition. Um, term is great for young families that have a lot of expenses or things that they need to cover and even something were to happen to them, but they're on maybe a limited budget and don't want to spend as much to have that permanent policy in place. So term is great when you're using it to your advantage for those things. Permanent, on the other hand, the premiums are a little higher um, but you have a permanent policy that never expires. So with term, once it's just like a lease. Once the lease is up, it's time to go. But with permanent or home ownership, it just keeps going as long as you're paying for it. Same thing with term and permanent insurance. So term, you usually have for 20, 30, 10, 20, 30 years. A lot of policies will give you some more flexible options. But once the term is up, no more insurance. You got to go back out and find a new policy at the new age that you are when it expires or when your term is up. Permanent keeps going as long as you're paying for it um, or you have cash value in the policy that will pay to keep the insurance in force. So that is the other advantage of permanent insurance. You are able to build some cash value, some, some cash within your policy that cash can often be taken out for expenses um, or it can be used to pay for the policy. There's a lot of different things that are things and options that you can do with a permanent policy. Another advantage that I like with permanent insurance is that you have some flexibility most times on your payments, depending on what type of policy you purchase. So um, you can actually start off with a payment of, say, this is just an example, $100 a month. And then down the road, you might only be able to pay 50, you pay 50. And then a little down, further down the road, you want to pay 500. You can do that with permanent insurance, whereas term is pretty much set. You pay X amount of dollars every month for X amount of years. There's no flexibility. So um, those are the biggest advantages to each. Um, I could give you a lot more information or meet with you in order to figure out what's best for you and your family. 
you feel free to visit my website at www.chicksinsurance.com. There's a link at the bottom of the page. You can actually meet with me virtually in the, the comfort of your home or office just like this. And we can discuss your needs for you specifically. So the best thing is to know your options, understand the differences, and choose something that fits your budget, your lifestyle, and your family. Until next time, why call the other guys when you can call Chicks Insurance?